I'm a Christian. I am a Muslim. I am a Sikh. I am a Jew. I'm a Hindu. I'm a humanist. I am a Buddhist monk. I'm open to all faiths. I'm a Sikh. Rudoin Christian. I'm not religious. Humanist. Christitu. Sikh. Buddhist. Sikh. Muslim. Christian. <laughs> AFAN started um, as a result of demand from colleges relating to the curriculum or to actual activity, college provision, which was genuinely not only multi-faith, but related to the various different questions that students were asking and the various different belief systems that they were exploring. Um, as young people in colleges. We have a, a wide variety of, of students in the college, many of whom do think about the big questions, but some are only a little way down the track of thinking about big questions. I think the AFAM materials could be a very big help in helping them to make that journey. How the website, the AFAM website works, and how it was, you know, the, the, the sort of the key words are not the religion but the issues. To be put in a sort of semi-formal framework where it's legitimate for them to address them, um, to inquire about certain things and I think it's a, it's a, it's a safe environment. Um, you can run a good AFAN program if you've got a group of teachers say who've got experience with post-16 yes, citizenship. Yes, well, AVAN was piloted in the college last September and it was put into the tutorial program. Basically what you need is somebody within the college who's, who's driving it. Now, the fact of the matter is that that person so usually tends to be place. either a chaplain or part of a, a, a multi-faith chaplaincy team. I think the good thing about the AFAN materials is, is that they give a kind of quality assured access to some materials that you can have confidence in that they're not going to be promoting one view or another view. Um, they've been genuinely developed in a multi-faith way um, by people from a range of backgrounds and beliefs and that you know you can have the confidence that by recommending it to tutors and to staff doing learner enrichment that it's going to be good high quality stuff and it's not going to get you into hot water. Afan keeps it fun and makes it accessible here you'll find a lot of the materials that have been gathered together by FN onto this website or that are links to other resources. And there are lots of different ways of actually accessing those. You can do it by those questions, by those themes, or you can do it by the type of material, whether it's a, a video link or a poem or whatever. or you could do it by a particular worldview. I want to know what a Muslim thinks about X or what an atheist thinks about Y. I'll go to that worldview and then explore that world. First at a link to creature comforts and it's a link about self-image. So this is going to be our first little clip that we're going to look at. So doing, so doing this, the staff development programme and uh, seeing the response from staff it's been um, very impressive actually. Um, nearly every session that I've run there's been one teacher in the room that said I will use it in my next session like within the next few hours. I think it does a number of things. One of the important things it does is it stimulates thought. Another thing it does is it shows people how much we're alike. 
I became very excited very quickly because it helped me deliver the multi-faith chaplaincy that I was aiming for in my colleges. Some chaplains just don't have the time to go around all the staff who need it, so if you can just introduce this staff, it at least gives them a beginning um, for, for the work they have to do with students now. An example of the sort of questions that students come up to in the AFEN tutorials typically will actually fall into three categories. Questions about the origin of things, so where did the universe come from? Questions about the nature of things, are there aliens today? Or questions about the future, what will happen to me when I die? You don't have to be religious to look at the big questions like sex and marriage and abortion. And also that everyone, whatever their religious or non-religious uh, beliefs, has the capacity to think about their own inner life. What meaning do I attribute to the experiences that I'm having? And what is it I feel when I look around at the natural world or other people, that connectedness with people? Today, I've been looking at the AFM website with some of my, my students at college, and I'm really pleased personally because I run a Christian union. So just finding this new resource is like so going to help me like run the group. So I'm really looking forward to getting into it and really like figuring out how to use it and what resources are on there. It gives it a bit of variation. So nobody really wants to sit there and read piece of text after text yeah. if it's got Sex, different like videos, audios. They look at serious subjects but in a fun way through videos and stuff, YouTube clips. People actually talking to you about it then it makes it a bit more interesting and you digest it more don't you and you remember it. You can use them for assignments in your college as well, so which is dead handy, especially yeah. when it comes to like equality, diversity and rights. Because yeah. that website about religion just good, isn't it? Yeah. But I think the FM website um, has hit the mark in terms of multi-faith and no faith, and has got some very good quality, up-to-date information. Uh, and we will be using it, and I recommend to other organisations that they seriously look about taking it and using it themselves. I think chaplains who are working with the college cross-curriculum are going to find it a very useful, useful material for sharing with staff and for encouraging staff to start thinking about uh, all faiths and men. As far as we're concerned, this is the best uh, web-based multi-faith resource that, that we know of and uh, for that reason uh, it's, it's got to be used.